Right, welcome back to my review, or re-review, of the Black & Decker 36 volt strimmer. So, this is now three years old, as you can see, a bit dirty. Um, had to replace the strimmer cord, I got a slightly thicker one, so uh, the other one was kept on breaking, so I just put a thicker, thicker cord on. But um, yeah, it's been fantastic bit of kit. Uh, this battery is a two amp hour battery, um, so it's not a four like the Bosch Rotac lawnmower, but to be honest, two is fine. The um, power button there, uh, basically I always leave it on turbo. There's the battery indicator, which is uh, four bars. Uh, again, just over an hour to um, charge the beast and uh, just slides on the end there. Um, pretty minimal maintenance, kind of just clean off the bits of grass of clumpy bits and I tend to try and get rid of the grass that goes down the vents at the top or what looks to be the vent holes. So a bit of a strim here, as you can see it's pretty good, pretty easy, it's not too heavy as well, um, I found it fine and without the cord it just means you can get around the garden without extension leads and kind of possibility of hitting extension leads and things like that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. Um, if you had a large garden, just get two batteries and then uh, you're um, away with it. It's uh, it'll keep you going. So uh, yeah, um, one thing is that I'd probably do maybe is adjust that handle. I haven't really done it. Um, I don't use it a huge amount, but really should do that just to make it a bit more comfortable. And um, I'm not sure I showed you on this on this video, but it does rotate, so it will go. Um, you can do like upside down, so basically you can do edging, um, but we haven't got many edges as such, so we just kind of use it on that setting there. But as you can see, we're going around uh, this bench, which is around the tree, and uh, yeah, no problem at all with that. Uh, it's got the guard at the end, so you know how far you can you can go um, up to like the legs of the tree, sorry, the legs of the um, seat there, uh, or, or like a, a tree, so you don't damage any bark or, or wood. So yeah. Nice bit of uh, strimming. I did look at, I think I looked at the Bosch ones of these and I can't remember why I didn't buy. I'm not sure if it was the weight or not, um, but yeah, I wasn't sure on the Black & Decker to be honest. Um, had Black & Decker stuff before, which has kind of been okay, but yeah, just wasn't 100% sure on this um, buying this one of their strimmers, but yeah, it's no, it's been really good. The only thing I did do, I'm not sure how I did it, but I drained a battery pack in the charger. Well, I seemed to do that. I thought I'd put it on charge, um, went to use it, and none of the lights came on. I thought well, the battery pack's faulty, and uh, yeah, it's a bit odd that why that was. I might have just got confused, and I don't know, maybe I used it and never recharged it the last time, or I'm not sure. So yeah, um, but no, it's it's, it's cool. Um, you see how, how good it is on that edge in there, just uh, taking out that grass. So for like a DIY use, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good buy. Um, not too sure for like professional use, um, a hell of a lot. I, I don't know how this would stack up if it's being used every day on multiple lawns with like laser battery packs. Maybe you want to buy the steel ones, I don't, I don't know, but um, you can give it a try though. Uh, a lot of professional people will probably think this is some sort of toy compared to like a steel machine so yeah or still so there you go it's killing the grass right it's doing it really well actually um, but yeah definitely if you do get one of these get the thicker uh, what do you call it the cord the plastic cord um, mine just seemed to snap off all the time I, I don't know why that was but the thicker stuff so much better it's a bit stronger for um, cutting bigger thicker stuff as well not just grass like plants and that um, these are quite good on dead and banks for trimming. Um, that's probably why I did get the thicker cord actually for doing like the bigger stuff on the dead and bank, which is like basically wild weeds and such. So, yeah, we're going to finish up the video in a bit with a um, final bit of strimming. I think this one's just a GoPro mounted on the M stem, so but yeah, it gives you an idea. And uh, what I do, I leave a link up. Um, for the, um, these are in Prime uh, Amazon, so I'll, I'll put a link up. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Don't forget to rate, subscribe and ask me any questions.